Faculties are a fairly obvious part of a school setup. But in the context of setting up and printing reports, it's important to see how they fit into the workflow, especially if your school is a K-12 school or only a primary or high school. Let's quickly pause on that. Generally, we don't think of faculties in a primary school context. And remember from a previous video that a reporting period can use either the high school or primary school style. That's why we don't see faculty set up in this reporting period, which is the one I created in a previous video. Let's quickly take a look at that. And there you can see there is no faculty setup option. To see faculty setup, you need to use a reporting period that uses the high school report style. Let's go back to reporting periods and find a high school style reporting period. We'll try this one. Remember to navigate to academic report setup each time as setting up faculties is, well, a, a setup action. And here you can see the faculty setup option appear. Nice. And notice this comment here. High school style reporting allows the use of faculties and subjects-based classes. It's also worth noting here that if your school is K-12, you can include K-6 classes in a high school style reporting period. In this example, we have a few faculties set up already, but there could be a few more. Let's add one. For example, it looks like the HSIE faculty might be missing. There are three options. You can add manually, or via the repository, or the central data layer. It will depend on how your school is set up. Let's try adding from the repository and choose HSIE. Assign a head teacher. You can select more than one, and there are plenty to choose from here. Notice this will need to be done for all the other faculties as well. Now, it doesn't look like we've really done that much here, but remember from the video on general workflow that we now need to assign subjects to faculties, add schemas to subjects, and assign classes to schemas. And we'll cover those in separate videos.